ladies and gentlemen, my name is April and you're welcome back to my YouTube channel if you're a returning viewer and you're welcome if you are new here. If you haven't checked out the videos on my channel yet, that is exactly what you should do right now. In fact, pause this video, go and check out the videos on my channel and if you like what you see, then what you should do is subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But today, as you guys can see, also from the title of this video, we are going to be talking about professional things. We are going to be talking about work. We are going to be talking about career. Yeah, so that's why today I have a colleague of mine uh, who is working at Unilever with me, Unilever Ghana. Uh, her name is Ifwa and she works in the HR department on the employer branding. Yeah. Exactly, thank you. Yeah. And today we are going to be talking about basically why we wanted to work at Unilever, how the application process was like for us, what challenges we faced, and we are going to give you some advice on, you know, the things that you have to do to be able to get into a company like Unilever. Okay, so Ifwa, can you please tell us uh, what school did you go to, when did you graduate, what course you did? Okay, so I went to Gempa, uh, Ghana Institute of Management and Public Administration. I studied supply chain management and um, yeah, so uh, I graduated in 2020, so very recent. So you studied supply chain management. Mm -hmm. Can you please tell us what that entails? What exactly did you study? Okay, so let me just try to explain without going too much into technicalities. But supply chain pretty much is, um, let's just say, is procurement and logistics put together. And so um, within the four years, I did some courses on you know, procurement, um, inventory management, logistics. So it's, it's pretty much like um, industry based and um, it's usually tailored around the supply chain industry okay yeah. so it, like companies like Unilever, Nestle so it's operations a lot of like manufacturing theories and, and it's that. very practical yeah it's, it's, it's quite practical yeah okay complete contrast to me I mean as you guys should already know by now I studied law yeah. so that's a completely different thing yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes but here we are today yeah so have you ever, let's say, entered at another company or a similar, did you ever enter in a similar environment to Unilever? To Unilever. Okay, so I interned in Blisco, so that's the company that produces the, the fabric, yeah, the GTP fabric, um, and Woodin and a few others, yeah, so that's actually the first um, supply chain company oh, I okay. interned in, but previously I had done... Um, some banking internships, um, I did GCB bank, I did Prudential bank and um, This was all during yeah. the graduate Yeah, yeah, I did, like I completed with like five internships <laughs> Like I wasn't playing like, You weren't playing at no, all I wasn't playing with internships because I was like, no, I need to, I need to yeah. get the extra curriculums in, you know Yeah, so, I 100% agree, I also did the same Yeah Every vacation and including Christmas, the Christmas holidays, one yeah, of them, I also do. Yeah. Yes. There were times I would even do like two internships in a vacation, like, yeah, it was as many as possible. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, like, yeah, that is yeah. definitely very important. Yeah. And when you decided to apply to Unilever, what was your motivation behind that? Okay, so for Unilever, I had for me, I'm like, okay, so I've done these banking internships, um. I was like, let me try to do something in my industry before I graduate. So I knew that, okay, with supply chain, obviously, I want to work in like a manufacturing company or something more tailored to what I studied. And although the, the banking industry is, is operations, which also is like a bit of supply chain, but I wanted like the manufacturing bit, you know, so I'm like, okay, what are, you know, some of the good companies out there um, that I can I can intern with so I mean Unilever, Nestle, all these companies came up. I had actually applied for Unilever like twice. Um, I think I did like brand ambassador. Um, I applied for the brand ambassadors program, didn't get it. Um, like I didn't even hear back from that girl. Like I did. <laughs> so yeah, and then I I applied for internship, also didn't hear back. So like. Level 300, decided to just go for it and yeah, it happened. Like, so. Yeah, so just to clarify, we are now national service personnel. Yeah, graduate intense. Graduate intense. <laughs> In the Unilever lingo, yeah, it's graduate, graduate intense. 
business. Yes. Yeah. And as I mentioned, if one works in HR, I work in marketing. Mm-hmm. I'm an assistance brand manager. Mm-hmm. But before this national service experience, we both interned at Unilever, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's what actually got us the opportunity to even be national service yeah, personnel yeah, here. Exactly. Yes, but everything you described is very funny because I had a very similar experience. Okay. Very similar. I actually applied uh, for an internship at Unilever in level two hundred. Wow. And I was good. Yes, I didn't accept me. Wow. Then level 300, I tried again and I got But yeah. how far did you get? Like, did you get like far or? Because I didn't really hear back from them after putting in the application. I heard back from them, but I can't remember the stage that I reached in level 200. Yeah. Yes, it was a bit. I remember that the process was a bit different than in level oh, 300. It wasn't okay. the same. It's either I feel that the test part, we'll get to that, the application yeah. process. Yeah, yeah. But I feel somewhere along the way, and I did. Receive, you know that okay, unfortunately, you know, yeah, 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 yeah sure. you couldn't be selected yeah, and all that. Yeah. But yeah, just so you guys know, you can apply to be a brand ambassador, which is separate from doing an internship, yeah. right? And then mm-hmm. after being a brand ambassador, you can also apply for an internship. internship. Yes, yeah. exactly. So the internship application process, okay. how was it like for you? Um, it was actually it was okay. I mean, you 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 see the application, right? So then the, you go to the application portal, you apply, you hear back from them, you take the aptitude test. If you make it fine, which obviously we did. So then, um, I think honestly, the the the, um, the aptitude test is just. I don't want to say lack, but if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. You don't and you know right away. Like once you're done taking the test, you just know, right? Um, so after that, then the interview is really like the major bit. So That's so true. Yeah, like the interview is the thing, right? So for me, like my interview, I put in effort, right? And it, it came out naturally because, like, one, like I. I knew about Unilever, like I used the brand, so like it came out, like I was excited about the opportunity as well, so I was able to like easily express that, you know, so it was okay, it's just after the interview, of course you don't hear back from them and you're waiting and you're waiting, I you're remember You're nervous like, and yeah, anxious. You're nervous and anxious and you're just like, what, um, am I going to hear back from them and that, so... I mean, but all in all, I think, but I was like, I kept on saying, hey, like, is this an internship? And we're going like, it's just internship. Yeah, the application process, like, if yeah. I said, first and foremost, there's an online application where you answer many questions. Yeah. You know, general questions about yourself, yeah. your strengths, your weaknesses, that yeah, kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, like, what do you want to do with the internship? How is that going to help your career yeah, progression? Exactly. Exactly, those kinds of questions. Yeah. Then if they deem that you are fit, mm-hmm. then there's an aptitude test, test yeah. which is online and it's timed. Mm-hmm. Yes. There's numerical, there's the yeah. verbal. Verbal, like, yeah, verbal yeah, exactly. So they test you on English, they test you on math, math they test yeah. you general knowledge, yeah, yeah. right? It's a general mm-hmm. aptitude test. Mm-hmm. Then after that, there is a telephone interview, right? Did you have a telephone no, interview? Oh, funny yeah. that. No, but I did like a short one where it was like, mm-hmm. da, 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 da. but then it was like, okay, so like, Come when I like, can you come for the interview? That's what happened with yeah. you. Yeah, that's not what happened with me. Why did I, tell you? I was just there one day, then I received a call, and it was joining from her. Wow, okay, yeah, I received a call from her too, but it wasn't like we didn't, we didn't go deep into asking questions like interview, asking me questions, but Whoa. it wasn't deep like the actual mm-hmm. interview. interview okay. It was like questions about Unilever, oh. and you see, she expected an answer right there, and so you don't have time to go and Google yeah, or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She started asking me questions about like what I know about you deliver the brands you know yeah. things like that and then also questions about myself wow. what do I like to do in my spare time how does that link to what I'm studying in school yeah. mm-hmm. you know things like that how also about the internship what are my expectations yeah. things like that and after that she didn't say oh come for that no 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 she was just like thank you wow. she was like thank you we'll get yeah, back yeah, to you yeah. and that was it yeah. and that was it then I received an email inviting me what for the show Exactly. I think we were interviewed by the same person because I remember like really? she, yeah you guys like she was just like that proper proper girl at the interview. I came like, like I was so coming for a long I came like I was coming for a She was in a white like she wore long sleeve and some trousers and wore like girl she was in a low far like I was like hey, this girl like she's really coming when they called her her work is <laughs> that's just how I want. That's just how I want. Oh my god! It was, it was intense. I think the interview day was so intense, it was, especially it was. for us. Like we married brand ambassadors. Yeah. But the rest of them, almost all of them, were like 
in the universe circle like they yeah. were in that brand ambassador but we were not they had intent before so they knew themselves and they were ch- chatting and those who we, we don't have connections we don't know really why we too why like you get it so we're just sitting down everyone when they call you you just go and it was it was just it was, it was something yeah, and the kind of questions that they ask a situational based question girl what will you do, what will you do if this if and this happens and, this. and like, it's really not like I think my advice like probably is just like have interests right aside from like the normal interests that everybody has so for me what helped like during my interview was that like I I probably like read a lot like I like intellectual conversations and the person that really interviewed me like he was like he's trying to pick your mind to see like do you care about global issues yes like, do you, like do you get to do you care about sustainability like do you know your purpose like do you know who you are do you know your weaknesses do you know your strengths so far yeah i mean you've had an internship experience i think that was three months yeah three, three months, months internship experience intense intense it's very very intense yeah. And now we've also been working for I think also about three months yeah. now. How is the experience like for you? For the first three months, right? Like during my internship, internship. Yeah, which was I last was, year. Yeah, which was last. Year. I was in procurement, so that's like more in line with what I studied in school, right? Like what I was studying in school. So it was it was okay. Um, yeah yeah it was okay i learned a lot about myself i realized that okay i might not be as interested in supply chain as i thought or um maybe my strengths don't really you know align with the the like the needed skill sets for that particular function and so um yeah just like a lot of like self is a realization a lot of like learning a lot about myself but i mean the the experience as a whole the three months internship it was like i would sometimes i'd be like are we doing an internship because like it wasn't like go buy me water go buy me banana kind of internship it was like, it's like you're actually working yeah, you're actually working you have a work plan you yeah. have a line manager, manager yeah. you're like you have an email address you have a laptop you have a or a desktop you know that kind of thing so it, it really just gives you a broader like perspective of like real corporate world experience very true that is so true also exactly what i experienced mm-hmm. but for me uh, i interned also in the marketing department so when i came for an internship i interned in marketing now i'm a national service personnel and assistant brand manager to be specific mm-hmm. again in marketing mm-hmm. so it's sort of a continuation of, of what the journey yes and you're with the so, same brand right Yes, yeah. uh, before I was doing Geisha and I'm still doing Geisha. Yeah. So at Unilever, we have various brands. If you guys don't know the brands of Unilever, you can just Google it. Yeah, like, just Google, Google it. it. There yeah. are so many brands. So I'm focusing right now on Geisha and that's exactly what I was doing as well yeah. uh, during my internship days. Mm-hmm. And it was similar to what you're saying. Mm-hmm. It's like you are actually providing value to the company. Mm-hmm. So what you do affects the running of the company literally whether it's marketing whether it's hr whether it's procurement Mm -hmm. everything whether you are doing chemical engineering like you're in the factory or working in a factory Mm -hmm. literally every aspect as an intern and as a national service personnel affects the output of the company so i think that there is no way that you can come into in level with the mindset that oh me i'll just put it on my cv that yeah. I'm to you live and no. I won't do nothing. No. no, no. And in fact, you're evaluated at the end of your internship. Yeah. As the value that you brought your line manager is going to write an evaluation yeah. on you. And you like coming back to Yenileva or having any so we have like various youth employability initiatives. So if you don't even intend to do your national service here, you might be interested in UFLP, which is our exactly. training exactly. program, or even exactly. later on in they, they pull up the files to check like so check know, what you did here. You're coming back to a company like this is dependent on the first approach like how exactly. do you, your first experience go you know so exactly. it's, and everybody like everybody is working so like do you get it so can you say you work? like it's I don't want to say it's competition but like when you see your colleagues moving you know you like you to you have to move like everybody's working like you know so yeah you can't slack yeah, you can't you can't can. so no there's no way but in your opinion why do you think that they accepted you here is it because of your let's say past experiences with the fact that you interned a lot is it because of uh your school 
or maybe how well you were doing in school. We even ask about oh, your grades. Yeah, I also so was. I was asked about grades, and I think even at that time, right? Like my CV was terrible. Like if I look at my CV now, like in terms of like formatting, like I didn't, I wasn't like too deep into like now. Like I study CVs and I know like what's a good CV and what's a bad CV. But like I mean, time. at that time, my CV wasn't so good, and like in, in terms of layouts, right? But I did have the experience there. So I don't think it's about grades. I don't think it's about CV. I just think really like it's just I had something to say right at the interview like I had perspectives I had opinions like so I had perspectives I had opinions and I also had like experience to to back those ideologies right so like I was able to talk about the various opportunities I had done not just internship per se but I had done fellowships like you know I was big on fellowships I had volunteered, like I had something going on. You so, weren't idle. Yeah, I wasn't idle. Do you get it? And that's what you never look out for. People who are just intentional, who are busy, like be busy and productive. Hundred percent. I agree. I agree. Hundred percent. Because I also wasn't questioned on my grades. In fact, I wasn't really questioned on what I studied in school mm -hmm. because here they don't care. They don't care. They don't care. You can do law. You come. You are in marketing, yeah. and it doesn't matter that you don't know anything about marketing because right now I'm learning yeah. about marketing. And I mean, before this experience, mm -hmm. my marketing knowledge was very, very limited. Mm -hmm. So I hundred percent agree with you. They, I think, what's also important is how serious you are okay yeah so for me because that's what i exhibited in my opinion mm -hmm. i think that's when i was speaking you know to uh, the interviewers yeah. i was just making this clear that like i'm no nonsense do you understand yeah. and like my whole even in school mm -hmm. and in my previous internships because at that point in time i had also interned at other places mm -hmm. so i made it clear that number one if let's say i'm meant to do a project i'm responsible mm -hmm. i'm serious mm -hmm. i do have time management skills yeah. i do have certain important skills which i think will be valuable to this job mm -hmm. and i was able to highlight those things yeah. and i think that that is what impressed them mm -hmm. so they were more concerned about how would i behave if this and this happens and my responses were you know like i was actually evaluating the situation and i think i gave responses which they were looking out mm -hmm. for so at the end of the day i think that that is what is most important even though i didn't prepare mm. for the inter for the interview i what i did was i found out as much about the company as i could yeah for that one i did yeah. i definitely yeah. did i found out you know when it was founded who yeah. founded it what the are the products, products. exactly yeah, the, the products, products are the most important portal, like know yeah. the brands and like what are they doing and what do they stand for, for. very important the purpose the, the purpose, brand purpose, the purpose, purpose the vision the vision, vision yes. yes speak the brand like you know just <laughs> just speak like it okay and then the whole thing is that like if you want it it shows i agree so, like if you really if you are passionate about it because like I was just so passionate because I was just I was just talking about it. I was just like, you didn't live no 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 because I really wanted to be here. Like, yeah, I also really wanted to be here. And the thing is, I actually made it clear to them because I was traveling. That particular vacation, I was traveling. Oh, yeah. That's why I wasn't here for three months. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't here for three months. Yeah. And the funny thing is, I actually started crying at that interview. Oh my god! Yes, <laughs> the reason I was crying at that interview is because. Yeah. They, I asked them, is it possible for me to come after I travel? Because my travel, it was it was booked. I was going to Rwanda and it was with uh, Isaac. Okay. So everything was planned out. I couldn't say I'm not going to travel. It wasn't yeah. a family thing. It was a project. Yeah. So I, when they said no, they said no, it's a three yeah. month yeah. thing. I was like, oh my goodness. And yes, I actually started, okay, I wasn't like crying. Like, it just worked, girl. Like it really worked. <laughs> my tears actually worked. And the thing is that because they asked me, why are you so interested, you know, in wow. this? And I was like, you know something? And this is actually true. One time, that was I think in my second year, with the first time that I was applying. I told someone, oh, come on, come on, relax, relax. <laughs> I told someone that I want to apply to Unilever. And the person was like, ah, but you without connections, how can you get into Unilever? That's what the person told me. Yeah. I was like, we will see. I said we will see and that year I didn't get in I was like no no problem I'll try again and this time I tried again that was my only opportunity yeah. to get an internship because at Unilever you can only intern in your second year yeah, and in your third year yeah. after that that's it yeah. it's only national service 
so i was like this year i must get in like this year i must get this internship and i told the interviewers that i was like i'm here not just because i'm interested in the company but i also want to prove a point to myself as well yeah, that i can do it without connection for the longest time yeah it was it was so real when we first got the tags right it was like oh my god like these are like you these know, are so cool these are so cool and it, it always felt so real like every morning coming here like we work for a multinational and like you know we like had the branded tees that you would wear i mean it was just so real but now now it's like no it's like, oh, this is our everyday life it's like everyday you know yeah <laughs> we can't we pass through security yeah, we're just blah blah yeah, blah all that and we are used too, to it yeah. Yes. So, do you have any last words for before we for go? anyone who wants like yeah. this or a similar opportunity? Um, be intentional. Like I'll just just be intentional. So, like for me, you know, I knew what I wanted, and then I put myself in the position to be able to grab the opportunity, right? So, identify what you want. Be intentional first of all. Identify what you want and figure out the things that you need to do in order to seize the opportunity. So if you know you want to be, you know, intern in Unilever, start engaging in Unilever's youth employability programs. We have internship, we have brand ambassadors program. We research on them. Why is sessions, research. you know, research about the brand, research about the company. And Unilever, you're so lucky because like, Unilever is such a company that has visibility. So it's not like some company that you are, you're like, you are literally fishing for information. The information is there. Look for it and just take advantage of it. Totally on point. Yeah. Totally on point. The only thing that I would like to add is that you shouldn't give up yeah. because we both tried once. We yeah. both failed. Mm -hmm. And we kept trying, you know, so just because, let's say, the process is not that simple, doesn't mean that you shouldn't try again if this is what you really want. Yeah. If you do feel like it's worth it, you should definitely persevere. And the same thing, I think, goes for Nestle, because yeah. I also applied for Nestle and I failed, yeah. but then I got through with Unilever, so I sort of just, you know, put it aside. It goes for everything. Actually, like every internship. Yeah, just try. And yeah. use LinkedIn. I think now... You I'm love LinkedIn, eh? <laughs> Um, and she's very active on LinkedIn. Yeah. I'll put her yes, somewhere yes, here. Yes, so yes, that yes. approach them. Like, so just network. That's yeah. true. Yeah. So we've come to the end of this video wow. and we thank you guys so much yeah. for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video, right? We gotta get back to work. But once again, you know, I just hope that you guys will be expecting my videos as they come along. Yeah. And um, I think that is all for today. Yeah. So we are just going to say bye. Bye guys.